Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for this lesson. If you've never been here before, welcome to Valerine's Home and Gardens. In this video, we are looking at fabrics. Now, I'll answer three questions under fabrics in this lesson. And the first one is, what does die lot number mean? Basically, die lot numbers are numbers that are generated and assigned to a batch of fabrics that's been dyed in the same vat at the same time. Now, if you have, this is wild berry, right? If you have number one vat with wild berry being dyed and number two vat with wild berry being dyed, they will have two different um, dye lot numbers because they are in two different vats. Number two, where can the dye lot number be found? Well, the dye lot number can be found on the self edge for some fabrics. And you can also look at the bolt of fabric at the end here. Usually there is a tag. There is usually a dye lot number there. If you can't find that dye lot number, just ask the salesperson. They should know exactly what the dye lot number is, or at least where you can find it. Number three. Is the die lot number important? Yeah, it is important. Remember I mentioned about vat number one and vat number two with the wild berry in both and they have two different die lot numbers? The reason is they could be a slight um, variance in color in vat number one from vat number two. And so it is important every time when you are buying several yards of fabric to make sure that your fabric comes from the same dye lot and that is so you don't end up with your draperies and the color looks a bit off over here the color looks a bit off over there make sure before you leave the store or when you purchase your fabric online from your supplier, make sure to ask them to give you fabric from the same dye lot, just to be a hundred percent sure that you will that you won't end up with any difference in coloration. Make sure you check out my video that shows you how to calculate. There, there are a few videos, calculations videos there. So you can check out the one for window treatments. You can also check out the one for bed linens or cushions. But just make sure you calculate how much fabric you need before you order. The last thing you want to do is to get to 90% of your project almost done and oh, I don't have enough fabric because you may not be able to get the rest of the fabric that you need from the same dye lot that you have. If anything, I would buy five to 10% more fabric to make sure I have enough coverage because you can always use the extra fabric for soft furnishings, right? to coordinate your space or your spaces because you can move fabric from one room to the next. If you learned anything from today's lesson, let me hear it guys. Please leave me a comment below. Give me two thumbs up. I'll be looking for those thumbs up and for those comments. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next lesson.